position. We're going to tag everything to hips today. So you're going to take one pillow, put it underneath your head, and then take your other pillow and put it in between your knees. Now, in terms of where you want your hips set up here, you don't want your knees directly out in front of your waist. You don't want it straight down. You want it kind of just a little bit forward. So if you stare at me from the top, my torso is here, and then my body's just a little bit in front of me, or my hips are a little bit in front of me. From this position, you're going to take your hands. Let's go bottom hand on top. Boom, let's grab, let's pull him in, let's get really, really tight. From here, all we're going to do is we're going to keep our hips stacked, crush the pillow or block, and rotate that foot up as high as you can. Now, I don't want to see your hips roll forward. You want to keep the hips still and just rotate up. So if you feel like you're cheating a lot, you can just grab right here. Okay, we're going to go 10 reps of that, and then we're going to hold for 10 seconds on the last rep. We're hammering that internal rotation. Here we go. Crush, squeeze, brace your abs, pick up, hold. Parachute down. If you can get higher than me, good. Get higher. Go as high as you can. Back up. Two. Should be right here, right in that. Here's the femur, right in front of it. Three. You can even take your fingers and go push on that tissue so you get a better connection of what's going on. Up. Four. Back up. Five. Create that non wrinkled shirt from here. Crush the foot or knee down. Pick the left foot up and hold. Right there. Parachute down. Let's go nine more. Up. Parachute down. This is easy. Roll the hip back a little bit and try to do it from there. Up. Down. If this is brutal, roll forward a little bit. Down. Keep that long, non wrinkled shirt. Five more. Up. And down. Four more. And down. Three more. Down, two. Down, one more. Hold for ten. Nine, eight, seven. Long shirt. Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. So we got to feel a stretch no matter where we're at. So just make sure you have that. Now, what we're going to do, just watch me while you're holding your stretch. We're going to envision there's like a big bouncy ball right here. It's squishy. I'm going to try to squish that ball between this knee and my, and my ribs, and I'm trying to rotate this foot simultaneously toward my left shoulder. And then I'm going to remove the support, and I'm going to try to hold my leg there, and all of this tissue here on the inside is going to light up. We're going to hold that for 10 seconds, and then go back to the original stretch. We'll do that for three rounds. Okay, so from here, try to not let your lower back crush into the ground. It's going to do it a little bit. Just Kind of mindful of that. So go find your end range where you're at. Start to create that tension. We're going to slowly start to remove the leg and now remove the hands. Try not to let your leg move. Ten. Nine. Try to pull everything up to your face. Eight. Seven. Try to rotate this foot to your left shoulder. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And put your leg, grab whatever you were doing for your stretch. Whew, we're awake now, right? All right, now, say everything stays the same. You just put the block under this part of the knee. You don't want it too far down here, otherwise it makes it too easy. Drop down to the forearm. Long shirt, long shirt, crush the knee. Let's go up for 10. And down. If this is too easy, put your knee on the ground, no block. Two. Three. Long shirt, butt out, chest out. Four. Five. Six, seven, three more, eight, nine, let's go one more, we're going to hold it for ten, hold, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, get higher, five, don't let me push your foot down, four, three, two, and relax. 